Welcome to Pax Europeana here from Montenegro. I just gave uh, this uh, press uh, video statement uh, about uh, Montenegro's EU membership, but I would like to talk a bit about uh, Austria, Malta and Ireland joining NATO. And I would like also to uh, call for the possibility to write op-eds in EU media about EU to join NATO and also in Cyprus and in uh, uh, Ireland, because now I published in Malta Times and I'm looking for opportunities uh, to publish in Politico and uh, about EU level portals uh, to join the EU to join NATO and of course Cyprus and Ireland is very important. I will have a press conference in Graz in the second Austrian town on Tuesday when I'm back in Vienna and I will promote Austrian NATO accession but now I would really love to uh, work on Cyprus, Ireland and the EU membership as well. And I hope my article in Malta Times has raised some uh, discussion in Malta and it is very uh, good article. I got some positive feedback. I will also write and read and discuss it with you now. Sweden and Finland are joining NATO. This is a historic step for the Nordic neutrals. Russia's war against Ukraine has changed Northern European security forever. All dogmas are being destroyed under the hammer blows of Russia, Russia's war against European peace. Ireland has now a majority of 52% in favor of NATO membership. Cyprus would love to join NATO but is blocked by Turkey. Only Malta and Austria remain stubbornly neutral in an EU of 447 million people. 97% of EU citizens are NATO allies. Uh, the uh, three former British colonies and Austria, representing 15.5 million people, remain outside the alliance which is defending Ukraine today. Security alliances are not museums, but key for today and tomorrow's security. NATO support for Ukraine to liberate the territories occupied by Russia shows the relevance of the Atlantic Alliance, in case anybody had any doubts. And Sweden and uh, Finland joining now and Montenegro and North Macedonia joined in 2017 and 2020 respectively. It's relevant, that's what I want to say. Moldova is considering ending its neutrality. Georgia wants to join the alliance as uh, do Kosovo and the majority of Bosnians. Only pro-Russian Serbia refuses NATO membership and is the only country in Europe not ready to sanction Russia for its war against Ukraine. Here we are in October 2022 and Maltese and Austrian officials plan for a neutral axis, Valletta Vienna, to keep the EU neutral. NATO membership for the EU might be the logical answer to Russian aggression. And such a development would be a next step into a federal European Union. But uh, that's opposed by Malta and by uh, Austria. NATO membership for the EU could make NATO more European, no matter who wins the presidents in the US in 2024. But no, Malta and Austria want to keep the EU neutral and separate from NATO. While some in Ireland and Cyprus worry about the potential isolation and loss of influence in Brussels as outsiders, in Malta and Austria elites are confident that without their consent nothing will move in Brussels and the superior insight in European strategic security from Vienna and Valletta is essential for decision makers in the EU and NATO. That was a bit of an irony, uh, I hope it was clear. Austria and Malta's neutrality is the legacy of Austrian Socialist uh, Chancellor Bruno Kreisky and Maltese Socialist Prime Minister Dom Mintov. Malta and Austria stand united against an American Europe and maintain strict political neutrality despite benefiting from a united Europe. No country has benefited more than Malta and Austria, actually. If neutral Malta has a case, it must spell it out clearly or join NATO like everybody else. That's the quote. In a Europe of solidarity, however, we shall care for each other. Solidarity in the EU is not a one-way street. We have Article 42 of EU treaties requiring Malta and Austria to defend Estonia in case of attack. So why not join NATO, Malta? The US can defend itself just fine. NATO is about European defense, defense from a hostile Russia. Who else might attack us? Inside NATO, we are all secure. Nobody would ever dare to attack NATO. 
and saying Ukraine is far away and Russia is only a threat to Poland and the Baltics, but not to Malta, is not a smart move. The next time Malta faces a refugee crisis from Africa, Malta might discover how lonely one is alone. And us, Austria will certainly not help forget solidarity from a neutral Austria. Neutralist philosophy is introvert, protectionist and isolationist and is contrary to moral solidarity and the united common approach on which the EU is based. And soon the patience of Italy, France and Germany with neutral particularities might run out and the debate on the EU joining NATO as the European pillar will gain steam. Malta and Austria will have to make choices. Clearly, NATO and the EU will be the answer as uh, neither Austria or Malta has a similar successful economic reality to offer outside of the EU. There is no objective uh, reason to stay outside NATO once you are a EU member. Maltese and Austrians are not different to Swedes, Italians, Croatians or Estonians. We are all Europeans. Maltese and Austrians have, a deeper, have no deeper insight into European peace than the French and Slovenians. We are all Europeans. We are either successfully united inside EU, NATO and the Euro or we fail. And it's not an option, failure. So please, Malta, join NATO and let us uh, together with Austria, Ireland and Cyprus and hopefully the EU itself and soon. It's the best answer, peaceful but resolute and significant. We can give as Europeans the Russians war of aggression to be united in NATO. Sweden and Finland did it for a reason. If neutral Malta has a case, it must spell it out clearly or join NATO like everybody else. It's no longer time to hide in the past. It's time for responsibility and solidarity inside NATO for all European Union citizens. I think it is a very good text. I will try to publish a similar text in Ireland and Cyprus, and I have done several of them in Austria already. And so continue to under attack basically this neutral position because the Austrian government is forming a neutral alliance with Malta and I want to form a pro-NATO alliance uh, with uh, Malta uh, activists and with Cyprus activists and Irish ones and I hope that we can achieve that. And I'm very proud to have uh, now in Montenegro they have already joined and I'm also very proud about North Macedonia I was also very active there and I'm very active also for Ukraine and NATO and I want to repeat it's not the start of World War III <laughs> or whatever Macron thinks when he is on a sugar low but the thing is that you get um, a clear deterrent of effect when you are in NATO so the Russians will actually it's a way for peace actually it's the only way for peace for Ukraine to be in NATO for Moldova as well and for of course, Georgia, because Russia cannot attack, they cannot even win now against uh, Ukraine. How can they win against uh, Russia and so the, uh, against uh, NATO? So it's absolutely the best way to, to uh, bring also Ukraine in NATO. I've made the case for 42 uh, members and ultimately that's the best way to do it. I call for Austria to join NATO and follow my activities for next week's press conference in Graz and more to come uh, for uh, the united European security of the EU to join NATO. And thanks a lot here from Montenegro. Bye.